So today we're looking at a microphone from a company that's probably my biggest surprise in terms of quality microphones this year. We're looking at the Mayano DM20 USB microphone. Now this microphone's a lot smaller than the one I reviewed in the past, the PD200X, and it's also a condenser microphone, but I really didn't expect a whole lot out of the other one either, and I got a lot out of it, so... Let's see what this one has to offer. In the box, you get the microphone that's already attached to a shock mount, a windscreen, and a stand. It came in white. The look is overall really nice. You get a USB-C cable, a little adapter to make the microphone mountable to a mic arm, and the instructions. So in my hand, the whole thing overall is very light. You've got your mic gain here on the bottom. It's actually a very nice, smooth knob, and it does feel very light, and it goes pretty much all the way around either way but we'll see how that actually works when we get into it on the front you have your headphone jack and on the back you have your usb-c port and it's got a nice little spot here in the stand to actually be able to fit the cable through but again don't use the stands but since we're talking about stands the stand itself is very light but compared to the overall weight of the microphone it's fine in terms of being a solid base it has some very light foam rubber feet instead of a proper rubber foot on first touch it doesn't feel like it would actually stay in place on a desk but all in all doesn't do too bad unless you plan on smacking the microphone around a lot on the desk but let's go ahead and get this thing mounted up on the mic arm so we see what that looks like and so we can hear it okay we're back up and running and here it is it's actually very nice looking on the arm i kind of wish i had a white arm too to be able to compare this just for a full overall aesthetic but that's not the case we'll let it go the microphone itself very small in front of my face i'm usually used to having something a lot bigger this close to my mouth that's what she said but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it can get pretty distracting it can block you it can do all sorts of things this is kind of discreet and off to the side and not too shabby. Now, if I'm playing with the actual gain here and bringing it up, that's bringing it up all the way. And then if I bring it all the way down, this is bringing it down all the way. So there's no bringing it down to a near mute in that scenario. So we kind of just find the best balance that we can and hope for the best that it sounds decent and that we're not messing everything up. Now, we didn't talk about the buttons on the top, but at the very top, we have a capacitive mute button. So if I touch... Back, and now we're unmuted now to you you don't see anything on the microphone like a lot of microphones with rgb will actually turn red or something if you're muted i have a tiny little led indicator to let me know if i'm muted or not and for the average streamer that's more than enough and then you have another capacitive button on the other side here so you got to be a little mindful of where you're pressing when you're doing these things but this one's actually to change your rgb so if we tap that you can see this is a nice little gradient one that you can go through that actually moves really nicely i'll be honest and then you can go from there and select other types of options. So you've got this breathing one and then just straight colors like so. Now I'll give this a lot of credit. The color that actually is coming off of this microphone is showing up and being represented really well on screen right now compared to some other ones that I've done in the past. And that's all using the same camera and lens. So it's not a problem with any of that. It's just that the brightness and the diffusion of the RGB itself can sometimes cause the accuracy to be a little bit off. And this is really nice. The one thing that we are missing on this is a proper software. I looked up and the Mayano link does not work for this microphone. The only thing that you can actually download for this microphone other than the instructions is actually a one-click firmware updater and that's really all you have for this so there's no software things so you can't control your volume or your RGB or anything like that outside of the microphone itself but what I want to do now is put this thing through its audible paces we're gonna do our usual test phrases we're gonna hear how this thing sounds so let's get to it the small pup not a hole in the sock the fish twisted and turned on the bent hook press the pants and sew a button on the vest the swan dive was far short of perfect the beauty of the view stunned the young boy Hey, you should join my Discord. It's kind of new, and we really want to start building it up. Link's down below. Okay, so I'm going to pop on some headphones, hear what that sounds like, and get right back to you. Well, color me surprised again, because this thing, it's so lightweight. It just feels like a very cheap product in that aspect, but it's putting out a nice sound. It's not a game-changing sound by any means, but for a microphone at this level, it sounds perfectly fine. Yes, as ever, a condenser microphone picks up a lot of room noise, and that's no different on this one, but it's not some kind of earth-shattering ambience that's really taking things over here. In fact, for as long as this microphone's been up on this stand, you've been listening to the raw audio and i'm willing to bet you didn't even notice because of the music that was playing underneath but you might be a podcaster or something like that and you're not going to have music playing underneath so you need to make sure that this is going to fit your needs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it through a little bit of processing like i always do i've done some processing in obs that i've actually recorded as we've been doing this and then i also processed the raw audio in davinci resolve and we'll see what kind of results we can get the small pup not a hole in the sock the fish twisted and turned on the bent hook Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. 
The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Hey, you should join my Discord. It's kind of new and we really want to start building it up. Links down below. The small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Hey, you should join my Discord. It's kind of new and we really want to start building it up. Links down below. The small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Hey, you should join my Discord. It's kind of new and we really want to start building it up. Links down below. So overall, I was really impressed with what I could do both in OBS and in DaVinci Resolve. And that's not a pat myself on the back. That is all about kind of the quality of this mic and what it allows me to do. Something that'll give this mic a lot of credit for. It wasn't really heavy on the mid-tone, so I didn't have to drop those a whole lot to be happy with my sound. And I actually was able to minimize how much I needed to boost the bass because it sounded pretty good out of the box. I just boosted it a little bit just for my own ego. But there are diminishing returns when you boost the bass. If I went a little bit too hard, it got really bassy. But the one thing I will say about the sound is despite the fact that it has this pop filter here which i mean build your pop filter into the microphone itself i don't like that it's here i find it to be a little bit of a distraction but that's neither here nor there the fact that it's here should mean that the plosives and sibilants and things like that should really kind of even out especially the plosives seeing as it's a pop filter but they were still there i mean they weren't gigantic or anything like that but it was something i noticed so if you're gonna have something like this built onto your microphone make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do to its top ability but this is where we talk about the price and the price actually might negate any negative thing I might be able to say about this microphone. It's $34.99 US. No, you didn't mishear me. Listen back. <laughs> It's $34.99 US, and it might actually even get better than that. I looked this microphone on Amazon, and it actually had a $5 off coupon attached to it. So for under $30, this is the quality of microphone that you can get. Now make no mistake, there are better microphones out there, both condenser and dynamic. But if you're just kind of getting a foot in the door, just becoming a streamer especially, and you want something that's going to look pretty for you, it's got the nice RGB and all that, very reminiscent of the HyperX Quadcast S, and a few other microphones floating around out there, for under $30, this is the microphone that you can get and you're going to be very hard pressed to find anything at that price so this is a microphone for what i would call the what the heck streamer somebody who doesn't have a lot of money to get started or anything like that but what the heck let's all give it a shot right so in terms of design and overall build quality I'd give it maybe a c like i said the knob feels really nice underneath it feels overall solid like it doesn't feel like it's going to break on me but it just feels so light that it feels like i'm holding a toy instead of a microphone audio quality out of the box we'll give it a b minus there's nothing game changing about the sound of this microphone it sounds like a decent microphone when you plug it in but for value i absolutely have to give it an a i'd probably give it an a plus if it also connected to some kind of a software it doesn't it's just a plug and play microphone and that's okay too but no other microphone that you could potentially get for under 30 dollars is gonna sound like this i can guarantee you that so that's two for two in terms of my anno really surprising me in terms of what i felt in my first impressions coming out of the box versus my final impressions after getting to use it i actually have another product from Mayano i'm going to be reviewing pretty soon so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think about this microphone down in the comments. You can check out these videos, which are reviews of a couple other microphones I did. And until next time, gang, let's get to work.